Hi everybody, I'm WHB Sports Director Chuck Freeby. Welcome to our 2019 Game of the Week High School Football Schedule Reveal. Boy, we're excited about our 30th season of high school football on TV 46. And what a slate we have put together for you. The season begins on August 23rd and really this was an easy selection because it's the last time these two teams will play during the regular season. Ever. The Elkhart schools are consolidating in 2020, so the last battle for the Mangy Lion with Elkhart Memorial going on over to Rice Field to take on Elkhart Central. Memorial and Scott Shaw should be vastly improved this year. They've got a good quarterback in Tyler Laner. They've got a young man by the name of Ivan Sohn who's got some speed in that backfield, and the Crimson Chargers expect to give the Blue Blazers quite a tussle as they normally do. Of course, Central is led by its outstanding running back, and you see him there, Mark Brownlee. He's already committed to Ball State, running over people, and that Blue Blazer defense should be very solid this year. So it's Central and Memorial on August 23rd to kick it off. Now, week two presents us with an interesting opportunity, and we're going to take advantage of it. We're going to have two, count them, two games in week two. We're going to start you off by going up into Michigan and showing you the defending state champion Edwards Burgettis in their home opener against Dowagiak. Now that game will be played on Thursday, August 29th, but we're going to show it Friday, August 30th at 8 p.m. and again Saturday morning at 11.30 a.m. after our normal game of the week. So it's Dowagiak and Edwardsburg as one half of the doubleheader, and the second half of the doubleheader is a rematch of the two teams from the 2005 state championship game. That's right, the Northwood Panthers, the last team from this area to win a football state championship. Bronson Yoder has moved on to college, but boy, folks, the cupboard is not bare. You can take a look at Trent Newcomer and Jaden Miller and the rest of the Black Crunch defense taking on Bishop Chittard, one of the powers from Indianapolis. Should be a fun night at Jim Andrews Field. That is in week two on August 30th. Let's turn the page to September. And as the calendar goes to September, week three always brings forth one of the great matchups, the great rivalries in the state of Indiana. It is the Holy War this year to be played at a Tulski Field on the campus of Marion High School as St. Joe and Marion collide. What a defensive struggle they put on last year. Special teams coming up big in the game. St. Joe has lost its quarterback, Ashton Ruskowski. He's gone on to Valparaiso. So where will the offense come from for the Indians? And Marion has lost some key personnel, too. So Mike Davidson's Knights have to find a way to put it together. Marion and St. Joe in week three, the first Friday night of September. What about week four? Well, by then, conference play has started. We want to start looking at the conference races. And a lot of people think the Plymouth Rockies may be one of the teams to beat the NLC this year. So we'll go on down to the Rock Pile and check out Plymouth and Northridge. What a game they played last year. That was when Julius Graber was healthy for Northridge. And then Oliver Eveler has command this year. Blake Reed, he's moved on from Plymouth. And so it'll be up to Joe Barron in the passing attack of the Rockies to kind of take things over. We'll see what happens Friday night 11, Saturday morning at 9. That is week four, the second Friday of September. So now we get into the NIC schedule in week five. And, and we just saw Marion in week three, but now they've got a big NIC South clash in week five because they have to go on over to the banks of the Bogo and deal with the Jimtown Jimmy. Mike Campbell, really excited about his Jimtown team this year. Why wouldn't he? His son, Clay, all-conference punter last year. Well, he's hoping he can be an all-conference quarterback this season, and he'll be at the helm of the Jimmies when they take on Marion. This is usually a physical, hard-hitting, slobber-knocking kind of game. We look forward to bringing that one to you in week five. What about week six? Well, after that hard-hitting, run-oriented attack that you might see in week five, might get aired out a little bit, at least on one side of the football in week six, because Ira Armstead, the fabulous Adams quarterback, has committed to play at the University of Virginia. We're going to showcase him at TCU School Field against the New Prairie Cougars. And the Cougars not only have the running of Chris Mays, but they got a pretty good quarterback, too, and Chase Ketterer, 
who says, I can throw if Russ Ratke lets me throw the football. He can run it, too, and that Cougar defense is always tough. Should be very interesting, the NIC this year. New Prairie taking on Adams. That's in week six of our 2019 schedule. So we've got three more to go. What happens in week seven? We'll take you back into the Northern Lakes Conference. We told you, we think Plymouth's going to be pretty good. Can they protect home field against another really good quarterback from Concord by the name of Ethan Kane? He's taken all kinds of visits to places. I know he's been to Illinois State, Northern Illinois. So can Ethan Kane and the Minutemen of Craig Kaler go down to the rock pile and deal with John Barron's Rockies? That's the matchup in week seven. Week eight also stays in the Northern Lakes Conference. This game was so good last year, it's going to be our 46 Sports Classic this Friday night. You'll see last year's game of Northwood and Warsaw this Friday night, 11, and then you'll see this year's game between Northwood and Warsaw coming up in week eight as we go down to Fisher Field to see if Bart Curtis's Tigers, boy, they almost pulled the upset against the second-ranked Panthers last year. Jaden Miller's going to have to have another big game for Northwood as he did in this one. But now in the second year of Bart Curtis's option attack, now with Wyatt Amos, I understand, at the helm for the Tigers, we'll see if Warsaw can avenge their defeat last year at Jim Anders Field. And then what about week nine? Lots of people expect it to be Penn and Mishawaka. I expect it to be Penn and Mishawaka, quite frankly. But for now, on the schedule, you're going to see TBA because we want to leave ourselves the option. So here's the full slate for 2019 on TV 46. And that TBA at the end, more than likely Penn and Mishawaka, but it could be somebody else. We will see. Don't want to forget about the Kingsman or the Cavemen. We expect Corey Yeoman and Keith Kinder both to have good teams this year. We'll see what happens then, of course. We take you all the way through the playoffs, the sectional, the regional, the semi-state, and all six state finals games televised live on TV 46. We're excited. We hope you are, too. Season starts August 23rd. Until then, enjoy 46 Sports Classics tomorrow night. Warsaw and Northwood on TV 46.